with what we have seen. And I believe the community would have no other conclusion but to come to the same conclusion that they have some satisfaction. Of course, the final say as far as aviation safety and security matters rests with the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. I've said it before and it bears repeating. For the avoidance of that, Ghana Civil Aviation Authority will give the final clearance. So when we say uh, when Magdan meets all the standards and the concerns that have been raised by the airport company, the uh, terminal will be open as soon as possible. We mean we don't want to second guess the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. The International Civil Aviation Authority doesn't have to see uh, the government or the public manipulating the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. So we don't want to say that, yes, the politicians have said this date, and so that date is sacrosanct. That responsibility rests with Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. And I think we have to give, you know, uh, obeisance to the international civil aviation regulations. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, my appointment has not been terminated. So if you have a fresh if you have, please uh, let's, let's give it to me. Um, I don't know about it. So we, uh, when I get it, yeah, exactly. When I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. No, I'm confident that um, they will be able to meet all the requirements that we have identified. So uh, well, that is it. So far, there's some cooperation. We've agreed on the issues. We've listed all of them. We've listed all of them. Uh, we shared it to the, the committee, and we showed them what we are talking about. And, and there are real issues. You need approval for, uh, for anything that you do in our sector. We showed them. We demonstrated it with uh, aviation standards. And so Maidan having accepted them and taking steps as we speak to resolve them, I think um, they, they will do it. Example, the sandwiches that are out there, they did not seek approval. Yesterday, when admitted, by close of day, they brought in application to seek for, to, to regularize. So what the company will do is that we will assess each one of them and respond to them. The biggest of it all is a uh, company sitting down with uh, Ghana Airport Company to uh, do a negotiation as to the fee that they will charging them for operating this place. I think that is what is outstanding. I, I don't think this is a big deal and uh, we are giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure uh, they should be able to, I believe they should be able to resolve this matter mm. amicably as soon as possible so that they can give them the go ahead to start operating. With regards to the grounding of the private jet which was being used for private purposes, we were told that they have been, uh, their license have been renewed for another 90 days which is a standard procedure. They are yet to put in the application to operate as uh, a commercial entity to do private jet hiring and other things. There's no question about, about that one. Uh, we insisted in, uh, on knowing when Magdan will be allowed to operate the terminal because the operation of the private jet is different from operating a VIP lounge. Uh, that is where I am unhappy that they cannot tell us when because I'm saying that there's nothing in this world that you want to do that you cannot have timeline. You can always have timeline. If you don't have timeline for anything, you either don't intend to do the thing. So I am saying, or Ghana Airport Company, or Ghana Civil Aviation, is unable to tell us the timeline within which they are operating. I don't take answers such as uh, uh, as soon as possible because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's only people.